Hello and welcome to this painting tutorial. Today I will be painting a squeak for the Gloomspite Gids. Normally when I paint a miniature I will start by painting the largest areas, which in this case is the squeak itself, but I uh, will do it the other way around today. I will start with the little rock he is standing on. The reason for this is, uh, is that I am going to dry brush it. Well, let's begin. I will start out with some Storm Woman fur and just uh, base coat the rock. When the storm women first dry, I'll add some non oil. When the shade is dry, it's time to add a dry brush, and for this, I'm using Longbeard Grey. And with that dry brush, the stone is complete. The next step is to paint the cloak of the grot inside the mouth of the squeak. And for that, I'm using Abaddon Black. Next, I'll add a subtle highlight of uh, Asian Grey. And now onto the grot itself. I'll start by adding a base coat of a Death Guard Green. Just all over. When the paint is dry, I'll add a shade of Coelia Green Shade. Just like before, it's all over. Oh, that poor grot. When the shade is dry, I'll add a thin layer of Nurgling Green. I've used two drops of paint and three drops of water for this one. Just layer it on and uh, avoid all the recesses. The final step on this grot is to add a highlight of Creek Kagi. Such as the toes. And with that, the skin of the grot is complete. Now it's time to paint the squeak itself, and uh, I'm going for the classical red look. So I'll start by base coating it with the fist on red. Just base coat it all over, but be careful when you get near the areas you've already painted. Well, now I'm waiting for the base coat to dry, but uh, I just wanted to ask you, am I the only one who always feels like uh, I'm getting in the Christmas spirit when I look at squeaks? Maybe it's the red and the green combined, I don't know. Boing. Right, so the next step is to add a dry brush. 
I'm going to use squeak orange, but uh, I'm only going to dry brush on the underside of the squeak. Careful not to hit the grud. This will add uh, tone variations on the squeak. Following that I will add a shade of right and flesh shade just all over the squeak. Again be careful not to hit the part you've already painted. We'll add some uh, definition to the miniature. Once the shade is completely dry, I'll go back to Squeak Orange and uh, make another dry brush. This time it is just a light dry brush, but all over, but a bit heavier on the underside uh, again to make this uh, tone difference. There's only one thing left to do with the skin, and that's to add a highlight of Bogman's glow. I will only add it to the most extreme edges. Next I'll be painting the gums, and for this I will start by making a base coat of Screamer Pink. Just be very careful not to hit the areas you've already painted. This is tough to do on camera. When the screamer pink is dry, I'll add a shade of caribou crimson. Again, be very careful. Next, I'll add a highlight of pink horror. Just be very gentle and only uh, paint the raised areas. The last step is to add some Empress Children uh, as a final highlight, and I will only uh, paint the most extreme high edges. Next is the teeth, the claws and the spikes on his back. For this I'm going to use a base coat of Sandry Dust. That goes for the Grot's teeth as well. With the base coat completely dry, it's time to add a shade of Seraphim Sepia. Mm -hmm. 
Usually when I paint bones and teeth and such, I tend to finish off with a dry brush of Terminator stone, but I'm not going to do it this time because <laughs> it will ruin the miniature. So instead I'm going to add a highlight using Ushapti bone. just at the very tips. The last thing I did was to paint the eyes and I used Uriel, Uriel Yellow. I did this off camp because I needed to concentrate. I just painted two small dots in the, the eye sockets. All we need to do now is to paint the base, and for this I'm going to start with the texture paint of Sterling Mud. Just spread it out evenly in a nice one thick coat. I let the texture paint uh, dry overnight, so now it's completely dry. The next step is to add a shade of Agrath Earthshade. Just all over the base. And then let it dry for about 30 minutes. With the shade dry, it's time to add a dry brush of Terminator Stone. Just be careful when you get near the miniature. The base is now technically complete. I would just like to add a tuft. I'm using a jungle tuft from the army painter. There you go, one mean squeak and one unfortunate grunt is ready to see some action on the tabletop. It was loads of fun painting this miniature. Squeaks and Gloomspite gits in general are full of character and comedy. I highly recommend picking up some gits to paint, even if you don't plan to field an entire army of them. If you wish to use your squeak for games, then I recommend adding a varnish to the miniature. Thank you for watching and happy painting!